Floss Tubers. Welcome to Floss Tube number 39. And this is July the 28th, 2021. And if you'll notice, there's two of us here. <laughs> I'm Dottie with Stitch and Scotty, and this is Stitch and Granny of 17. See, now you can put a face Hi. with the name. <laughs> this is Deborah. So, really, really good stitching buddy. So, we have got a lot to show you, and today is Wednesday, July the 28th. This is not my regular release day, but I'm not going to release this till later in the week because I will be busy this weekend. So, I just wanted to make sure that there was a video, and this was a good day for Deborah to come over. So, we're going to show all our goodies. We're going to do a July wrap-up of patriotic things. We're going to do a jolly July wrap-up, and... We're just going to share, stitchy friend, oh goodness, we're going to share, <laughs> oh goodness, I'm just going to leave that in. We're just going to share all kinds of good things. We have giveaways, we have a couple of free patterns, and we have some new items to show from the Needlepoint Expo at the end of August, uh, August 28th through 30th. And I also would like to thank everyone for the prayers and the well wishes. I'm still doing fine and just continue to improve every day, but very slowly, just not fast enough. But anyway, without further ado, we're gonna start, and we're gonna start with past FFOs. And here is Stitching Granny of 17. She, her needle just flies. So I'm gonna let you, her tell you all about her goodies. Okay, back in the early 80s when I started cross stitching, I, didn't keep up with designers, fabric, flosses. I just stitched. So about the second or third thing that I stitched is an egg gatherer. And I stitched this in 1983. Okay, now tell them about the other guy that you're looking for. I'm looking for this pattern. I don't remember the name of it, but this is the late old lady gathering eggs and she has a husband and I've been wanting to finish it by stitching it and and maybe hang them together, but I can't remember the name of the pattern. So if anybody has any ideas, please leave it in the comments. Thank yes, you. Yes, and I will let her know. And don't you just love those two chickens and the little woman, the little granny woman collecting the eggs. Just too cute. I'm the chicken lady anyway. Here's another little um, FFO that I did, and this is early 2000s. I did it while I was going to EGA with Dottie. And something patriotic. And EGA is Embroiders Guild of America. We used to have a chapter here in our town, and since then it has dissolved. So, hmm, yeah. But isn't that pretty? That was one of our programs for the month. We would always have a little program, a stitchy program. And, um, uh, that was, you know, somebody would be in charge of it. And so that was it. All right, next. All right, I have current FFOs. And this is with the Biddy Barns. And it's uh, spring and summer. Okay, here we go. I'll hold one. Let's get them close. And there's spring on the top. And look at the cute little pillows she's made with the cute little chickens. Aren't those cute? In the summer with the checks. And I used some of my vintage trim that I had. Is this from Lori Holt or just some you just got? No, the vintage trim is what I had for years. Like 30, uh, 40 it's years. Vintage. <laughs> yes. But aren't those adorable? And then she just um, finished the backs like this and then just whip stitched them closed. Okay. And then I got into doing Lori Holt stitch cards. And I don't know which cards these are on, but they're current. I did the B. You want to hold that one? Okay. She's okay. got the B and uh, she's got the little B fabric. And what is your trim made out of? That's just some chenille trim that I found at Michael's. Okay. And is this on 10 count? Everything I stitch is 14 count. 
This is 10. Oh. Wait a minute. No, that one is, that's 11 count. Sorry. Okay, this is 11 count. I did Ada. find some 11 count. Yeah, and isn't that cute? Did you use DMC flosses? Yes, I did. Okay, and the next one? This one's done on 11 count too, and I used DMC flosses for that. And that's vintage fabric and vintage trim. Okay, and there's her finish on the back. Very cute. All right. And this one is also 11 count. And it's, these are the fabrics that I um, tea and coffee stained. Oh boy, tea and coffee dyed fabric. Isn't that little pigtail cute? And I love the little red ears. And then cute, cute fabric. And she's got the eyelet, is that eyelet trim? Yes. That's what I thought. That's vintage. It is. It used to be on everything, okay? And next, that was another one of Lori Holt's stitch cards. That one's done on 14 count. It is, yeah. And that's a B skip. Really, really cute. Now, is this going to be an ornament or? I hang them on my lamps. Oh, cute. And what did you use for the cord? Some vintage trim that I had. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. This one, I really had fun stitching. It's by Twin Peak Primitives. And that's Daisy. Yes. And that, was come, that came out this spring. It's 86 by 59 stitches. Okay. And I did this on um, what I hand dyed in the blue, evening blue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that, that's what it's called. That's what you've mm -hmm. been dyeing stuff in. And it's on 14 count. And she got the frame from Hobby Lobby. Isn't that cute? And back up just a little bit so we can see the cute little bow finish that you've got. Cute, cute, cute. It's got the little rooster and all the little animals all over the little cow. Now, where did you get your fabric back here? Um, that's just some that I had in my stash. Very cute. And you made your bow yourself, Yes, huh? I made the bow. Mm, pretty. Nice, I like that. And she got the the frame at Hobby Lobby. Oh yeah. I think those are still available. And this is a mystery Ada. I got it at Hobby Lobby, it's 14 count. I don't remember the name of it. This is a Plum Street pattern and it's, uh, hang on, it's George and Martha from Plum Street. Okay, and let's see her her FFO. This is done on a, what do you call that thing? It's cutting like, board, yeah. It's like a an easel thing. Yeah, and it's got a little front, a little easel thing. You set it up, and this came from Hobby Lobby? Yes. Mm-hmm, and it's got the little lip here. And I have stars that's on a sticks that they're standing up around it at home. Cute, cute. Now, is that a different colored fabric button in the middle of your bow? Uh, that's just another ribbon. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know if that was a button or not. And what did you use for this trim here? That's just some pom-poms that I found at Hobby Lobby on a, a roll. Very, very nice. I love that. Mm, good job, Deborah. Wow. She's been busy. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Okay. All right. Now, next... Uh, we're going to do my past FFOs. All right. As you know, I love to stitch Lizzie Kate. And when I was at the ball games, I would stitch things like this. And this is called Stars and Stripes Forever. And this is an oldie bit of goodie. And it came complete with a little pillow and the 14 count Ada. It was white. And all I had to do was add the thread and it had the three buttons, the three little star buttons you sewed on there. Those are adorable. Okay, and next, I can't remember the name of this pattern, don't have it, but I know it's Lizzie Kate. I was gonna and say this was Lizzie the, Kate. This was the July. Evidently, all I used to stitch was Lizzie Kate and Pine Mountain Designs. Oh, and that last one was not Lizzie Kate. It was Pine Mountain Designs. But this is a Liberty pattern, and it had the three little, every month has a big long one and two short ones. And I can't remember if it was something blocks, flip it blocks, or something like that. And I found this frame um, 
for six dollars in um a little bargain bin at the framer shop in um liberty and so i i did this so i change them out every month oops that was not good and then next we have july and this is the stamp don't you love my bag oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is the stamp um flip it and i love the little watermelon with little ants and this was on i forgot to tell you what the other one was on this is on 32 count hmm, not really sure um probably a ivory and linen and uh, the white just barely shows up and in those days i just used all the call for fabrics and she had um i had some dmc's and some gentle arts and maybe a week style works in here not really sure about that you do an awesome job in your finishing oh yes yes <laughs> and then this one um is also a flip it this was one of her later flip it's and this is july <laughs> I know. you just can't see the back and i'm not showing it okay this was in the early days when i was just like get her done and i pop these out and just pop them back in and these were even no, I guess this one I did put on sticky board. Because some of my older ones, they were just on like cardboard, you know. Who cares about acid, you know. I'll be dead by then. <laughs> so, if this falls off one more time, that is gonna it. Okay, now, um, sorry about that. But anyway, this is my July, and this is done on 28 count mystery linen. Uh, it's probably a cashel, like a mm, cafe mocha or something like that. I think that was one... French Cafe Mocha. I was really hung up on that one for a while. And I used the Sampler Arts and the Week Style Works threads that were called for. And it had the three little buttons in there. And so that one's done. And then last, no, next to last, another Lizzie Kate. This is like a Lizzie Kate Festival. This is called A Little Liberty. And this was a kit. You got the fabric and the, the trim, which was red beads. And I wasn't, I was going to do it smaller, but I had this frame and I thought, well, why not just put it in this? You're this consistent in your finishing. I am, aren't I? Usually I cover it up. And this frame came from the framery and um, I just popped these in and out, but these have screws on the back. He was a little more technical with that. And the little red beads are like the little center of the flowers right there. And this one's done on the 20, oh, I don't know if that's 28 or 32 count. I don't know. But anyway, you use Week Style Works and Gentle Arch threads. And I used all the call for fabric. Do you have batting under that? Yes, I put batting under all my pieces. Every one. I like the one with chestnut look of the frame. Okay, and last but not least, this is my little candle stand, and this is from Shepherd's Bush. And the reason I'm not showing the patterns is some of these are so old, I don't have them anymore. And this was July. This is America, Old Glory, Freedom, and I can't read that one, Liberty USA. And I love the heart button and all the little swirly letters and everything, and that's what drew me to these patterns to start with. And it's on a little candle stand that I got from Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill. <sighs> Just Whoops. call me Grace. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. And I leave this off because I glued it on it first. And I'm like, oh, I can't get my piece off. Because you have to unscrew this and slide this up. And then you just like lift those up and down. So, but yeah, I really enjoy those. Those are so cute. Okay. And next, what did I show? Oh, finishes. I have one finish. Yay. And I didn't have it on my board, of course, Deborah. <clears throat> what else is new? <laughs> okay, I was doing the Be Happy um, Mystery Sale from uh, Primrose Cottage Stitches. And, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, it's in here. Okay, nothing like being prepared. And it's... They came out with a pattern. This is a complimentary pattern. It's kind words are like honey to the soul. No, sweet to the soul. There you go. And so I'm going to do that next. But this is my pattern. 
And first they came out with the be happy, then the be humble, and then the be kind. And this was a quick stitch and I really, really enjoyed it. And this is my finish. It's on, it's 45 by 112 and it's on a piece of mystery white cashel linen, 28 count. And I used five BMC colors that it called for. And uh, it's, it's really quick. You can go on their Etsy shop on Primrose Cottage Stitches to purchase this. It's two threads over, two strands of floss over two threads. Okay, and that's my one and only finish. Now, I did, I did not do this part on 24 hours of cross stitch. I did not get this one done then. Um, wait a minute. Um, but we'll talk about 24 hours of cross stitch in a minute. I just keep knocking stuff off. Have you noticed? That's okay. <sighs> well, there you go. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to talk about whips. No, no, finishes. Okay, finishes. Deborah's finishes. Okay, Deborah has a finish from Country Cottage Needleworks. This is July. Okay, and she's changed up the fabric. What kind of fabric is that, Deborah? This is hand dyed again, and it's Ada. Yes, Ada, fourteen count. Okay, and how many strands of floss did you use? Two. Okay. And I did change up the colors. It looks really good. I really like that. And what kind of floss did you use? DMC. Ooh, pretty. I like your fireworks too. Those are cute. And the blue is very patriotic. Very, very nice. And, and then next finish that I did in July is from Sweet Land of Liberty book by Blackbird Designs. Okay, and this was the, uh, in full, no, it's not in full glory. It was American Eagle. Um, and what color fabric did you use? This one is the light, oh, it's, I'm not sure. It's, it's from Hobby Lobby. Okay, and it's a 14 count A. Yes. Okay, and the design is 93 by 114. And what kind of floss did you use? I changed that up too. I have some weeks in there. I have some um, color works in there and I have DMC. Okay, now what did you use for your red A, R, and A in America? Do you remember? I think that's the weeks, but I, I I don't know the color right offhand. Okay. I didn't write it. I just started writing down this month. Well, I just love that. That's just really pretty. Scoot down just a little bit. Okay. And this is the pattern out of the book. And that book is Sweet Land of Liberty. Okay. I've got this one in the plastic. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I can tilt it. This is Sew by Row by Lori Holt Fat and Fat Quarter Shop. They had a sale, and I finished this in June. Oops, it just rolled right <laughs> it down. It rolled on <laughs> down. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And what kind of fabric? I mean, yeah, what fabric's there? It's 14 Ada Swigert white, and I used all the DMC threads, and I changed up down here the fabrics. I tried to make it look like fabric. Yeah, she did a really good job on that. Okay, it's a little wonk. Yeah, there you go. I love the irons and the spools of thread and the scissors. Just really, really pretty. Very bright. Okay. And that one's um, on the 14 count. It's 9 and a quarter by 12 because it's 131 by 169. Oh, here's that too. Okay. What else you got? Anything? That's it. Oh. Okay, wow. Okay, now, next, um, we're going to talk about our whips, okay? Um, we've got, let's see, Deborah has, oh, I did have another one, but that's okay. Oh, no, let's talk about that one. Here we go. Okay. I did have one more, I'm sorry. And it's by Waxing Moon. 
Okay, this one's Jan the January in the Waxing Moon Design. Ooh, this one's thick. And it's frosty. Okay, what fabric's it on? That's the light gray Swigart 14 count. And I use the DMC color conversion. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's so cute and so happy. I can't wait to do mine. He's just too cute. And I love that fabric. What color is that? It's a light gray. Hmm. I like that. So you check that out, people. It just looks wintry. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, my nose itches. All right. Any more um, finishes? That's all the finishes. You sure? Yes. Okay. All right. Now we're going to talk about whips. And um, do you, uh, well, go ahead and do yours first. Oh, wonderful. Oh, she's not ready. <laughs> I'll just do mine, okay? All right. Um, the first whip I had, usually I start with whip go, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, the first whip I had is the Wizard of Oz Mystery Sound. And chapter six came out, and I just thought that was so cute. Now, once again, I am slightly behind. Uh, you know, I have so many projects and so much to do, but I did get a good bit. I worked on this during 24 hours of cross stitch, and I did get my 24 hours of cross stitch done on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and posted on the um, Facebook group, and... It's gonna look like I didn't get much done, probably, but I filled in my border on one and a half sides and then down through here, and then I finished up the, the whole block with Glinda the Good Witch and the Munchkins, except for the back stitch. I just could not bring myself to do the back stitch. So I'm going to probably finish up the back stitch and then go on and do the rainbow before I go on to anything else and do some more border. So, it may be a little boring for a little while. <clears throat> but this one's on, oh, I forgot. This one's on a 28 count Star Sapphires Weigart Linen. No, Witchel Linen. You know, the stiff one. And notice how it's just kind of eased up. The more I work with it, the floppier it gets. So, um, I just, and I'm using all the DMC Call 4 threads. And there are quite a few because it's all bright colors. And um, even though all the parts are out, I'm still going to keep stitching on this one because it's really cute. And I love Wizard of Oz. Now I'm going to let Deborah show one. You got one ready? Yeah, this is the 12 Days of Christmas by Stony Creek. And I'm hoping I get mine done faster than you got your 12 Days of Christmas done. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a slow start. This is my take-along stitch. Isn't that cute? Okay. And I started on two and finished up on one. Oh, so cute. Partridge in a pear tree. And the two, is that two calling birds? Yeah. No, two turtle doves. Yeah, two, two turtle doves. How you forget these well, things. We are so good. <laughs> We're at the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> well, hey, you know, it is what it is. So, what fabric is that on? That's the light gray Swigart 14 count. And it's two strands? Two strands. Okay, of DMC. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and the next one I'm doing is the Little Women Stitch Along from the Stitching Book Club. And, of course, all the parts are out on that. But I also worked on this on um, 24 Hours of Cross Stitch Weekend. And I got a good amount done. I got the rest of the Little Women Word done. Well, no, I finished that. But I got the quill and the inkwell done. I got the top of the house started. And this is a needle. And then I got the two little things and the green vine up here done with the little purple flowers. So I'm moving right along on this one, but still behind. And this one's on 28 count kind of beige um, mystery cashel linen. It's got to be Cashel, the way it feels. Well, it could be Lugana. It could be Lugana. I think it is because it's quite thick. And uh, it uses only DMC flosses. And if anybody's interested in joining Stitching Book Club, she's got two or three more things. We read the book, Little Women. And you go on her Etsy shop with Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. 
and you can uh, buy the pattern and she sends it to you in a PDF. It's available in all the parts now. But next time, I think we're doing The Great Gatsby, I think. But I'm not, um, don't quote me on that. But anyway, hopefully, um, you know, I'll have Little Women done before that starts. Okay. Um, next, Deborah. Okay, this is the Prim series with Lori Hall. And I kind of put this one on time out uh, in the end of May. I'm kind of switching around my blocks. I don't have them in the same order that Fat Quarter Shop or the pattern calls for. And that is on the Ivory Swigart 14 Count Ada. And I'm using the DMC Flosses. And she's almost done. And I haven't even started. Mm, but it's beautiful. And I keep it in this lovely little bag that I made. Very nice. Did you have a pattern or did you just make that up? I made it up. I knew you did. That's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> and there's two strands over one thread on the 14 count Ada. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, how long did it how long have you been working on that? Since it first came out? No. I started on it um after the first of the year. Oh, okay. Okay. Um and you're using all DMC flosses, right? Correct. Okay. All right, next, um, I'm do doing another sale. I just left sales here lately. This is called Jingle Jolly Joy, and it's by Luminous Fiber Arts. And the first part was the reindeer. The second part was the little Santa Claus, because he's jolly. And the third part was Joy, the little snowman with the red cardinal singing to the snowman. Okay, and that was in four clues. You got the border first, and then you got the reindeer, the Santa, and then that. Now, this was designed by Miss Misty Purcell of Luminous, Fim Luminous Fiber Arts, and she has a website, and it's www.luminousfiberarts.com. So, if you're interested in this sale, you can get all the pieces. Uh, all you have to do is go to her website and order it. Okay, this was part one on my mystery linen, and I was going to put them all three together, like I said, but I screwed up. And so I noticed that I was not gonna have enough, so I just skipped a little space, and there's Santa Claus. And I also worked on him during the 24 hours of cross stitch. His face took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna, and the snowflakes. And I got the chips and the chocolate chip cookie. And this one's on 32 count mystery linen. And I just bought a bunch of scraps from my local needlework shop, Pandas Crossing. When she was having like a, a sale, she just had little bags of scrap fabric and this was in it. So I have another scrap just like this for the snowman. And I still have not decided if they're gonna be ornaments or if it's gonna be a picture. I haven't decided. And I used all the DMC flosses that it's called for. Um, and now next, I cannot believe I did that. Next, we're going to talk about Kringle from Little House Needleworks. All right, go, Deborah. You, go, you show yours first. No, you show yours first. Because <laughs> I just got through talking. All right, well, show you. Give me your pattern because it's out of the plastic. Oh, sorry. Okay. This is Kringle's from Little House Needleworks. And you've seen uh, Kimberly do this on Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, but she put Jolly where there was Kringle's. And um, you could buy the kit of, well, not really a kit. It was like a thread pack of the classic color works and the DMC flosses, which I did at Needlework, um, I guess, it, uh, what they call that? Needlework Gallery, or Galleria or something. I don't know. But anyway, when it first came out and the call for fabric was 30 Portobello. So what did you do yours on? I did mine on a uh, coffee dyed, and I used the ivory swigart, and this is 16 count. And that's her start. And I'm using a substitution. I'm using all the DMC conversions, except for the ECRU, because it wouldn't show up. I'm using 3865. Oh, nice. And I started this July 23rd. Hmm. Where? Started it because Dottie was doing hers. 
Yes, yes, yes. And it does use one Alvaire Soie and DMC Blend. Use a strand of each. And um, I did pick up the Alvaire Soie. I think I got that at Fire Poppies. But um, I did mine on the Portobello. And it's 30 count. And so mine was my whip go that was called for this month. And I had already done my 500 stitches that I said I was going to do. I just got kind of bummed out on the roof. And you see, Deborah and I just about started in the same place. So when I got tired of that, I thought, oh, let's do a few bricks. Well, I'm already tired of the bricks. So I think I'm going to go back to the roof when this thread runs out. Because, you know, I always leave a thread on there so I can sit down and just start stitching. But the good thing about the roof is it's got like a pattern. I'm going to tilt it to see if you can see the different colors. And once you get the pattern down pat, you can just stitch and stitch and stitch. And the same thing with the bricks. So it does go along pretty quick. And I'm using all the call for colors. Are you using all the call for colors? All the DMC call for, okay. for conversion. Okay. But I'm using all the classic color works. And um, like I said, I do have the Alvaire Soie. So uh, I'll be using that wherever it shows up. But hopefully I'll get some more done on this. But mine will not be done by Christmas. I can assure you of that unless a miracle occurs. And I did not work on it in the 24 hours of cross stitch. I just worked on the three projects that I showed you uh, for that. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. It is. It is. I can't wait till I get to the rooms because it'll mean more variety. I know it's a lot more confetti stitching. But, um... I'm really uh, excited about that. So, um, let's see. And here's the classic color works that it uses that came in the pack. Notice mine's a hot mess, as usual. And, well, we won't be showing the DMC flosses <laughs> because they're really a hot mess. And the Alvaire Soie is like a gold. Right here, it's a number four braid. So there you go. That is pretty. It is pretty, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So anyway, um, we've got that. So that was my whip go. And speaking of whip go, let me get out my whip go board. And that was number, yeah, it was 12. Right here. So I can up. march, I can march, I can mark it off, except I've dropped my marker. So, mm, yeah. And then the other one was the 12 days of Christmas, 10, 11, and 12. And I didn't bring those down because I kind of showcased them last video. So, you know that. So, I've got one, two, three, four. I'll have a bingo if I get this done. But this month, they called seven and eight. So, we'll talk about those in just a few minutes. All right, Deborah, you got any more whips? That's it. Oh, well, I guess we'll talk about them now. Nothing like being organized. Um... Even though I'm not used to having two people. <laughs> Especially one that stitches as prolifically as Deborah does. I mean, I think she stitches in her sleep. So, which is very good. She gets a lot done. Well, my husband says I sew in my sleep. I believe you do. <laughs> okay. You'll have to excuse me for just a moment. Everything's falling in the floor. Um, okay, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, we're talking about other whips. Okay, for whip go, I may rue the day that I said I was going to do my Christmas Quaker stitch. Okay, mm -mm. I got this out of this is the August issue of Just Cross Stitch. Oops, and it's been coming out ever since February, I think. Let's see. February, March, April, May. No, no, I don't know. But anyway, this is part four that they've got, the four parts, and there's still some more parts, three more. And I have such a pitiful start because I'm still on part one as usual. And I did not iron this one because I had not touched it. And it's also on the Star Sapphire. So, this is going to be my stitch for this month, and <clears throat> there we go. That's all I've got done, and it was just, 
do a couple of stitches, move, do a couple of stitches, move. And I'm like, mm, yeah. But I looked at the pattern, and the good thing is, is this is the only one that is quite that, you know, um, confetti stitched. So this month, I have to do 300 stitches. <laughs> so I can do that. Notice I didn't put much, because I thought, you know, with all this confetti stitching, I better just go kind of easy. But this is on 28 count star sapphire linen from Witchell, you know, the stiff stuff. And I used all the call for flosses, which were mostly DMCs. And they have an anchor conversion. They had two classic color works and one, two, three, four um, weak style works. But I think I used some DMC for that. I'll have to look and see. But I like the Christmas tree and the poinsettia and a Christmas package and a candy cane or two. So I like a good bit. So maybe I can get a good bit done on this one. I might work on this this week. Maybe That's a, Christmas 2022, you'll have it done. How about 2025 or oh, something? Goodness. You know, it's like, woo, yeah. Yeah. So um, my little bag is very heavy because it's full of all these magazines, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I guess I ought to make a working copy, but, mm, but look at that sled. Look at all that stitching. And I was complaining about having to just jump around. Hmm. So that'll be a good one. I can just get stuck on blue. But I don't know if I'm going to do a blue sled because blue and Santa Claus just, I don't think, go together. So I'm going to have to think about that, you know, because the sleigh is like red. All right, my other one that was called is called Tea Time, and it's by Mill Hill. <clears throat> and it was a project at one of the retreats um, at Pandas Cross Stitch and Beading. And this is a Mill Hill Buttons and Beads kit, and it tells about different kinds of teas. And I've got everything done except... Yeah, except I think I've got one little spot I need to stitch, but the rest is just going to be beading because, you know, Mill Hill kits have a lot of beading. Yeah, of course I have a strand. Okay, look at that. See, it's almost done. So I need to get that done so I can put that up in my kitchen. And this is on perforated paper, and it's white, and it's two strands over one. And the beading or back stitch, the beading uses two strands and the back stitch is one strand. But it's just really fun. We really enjoyed doing that. And I've wanted to stitch this one ever since I've seen it. And I know I've showed y'all this before. This is my bead buddy. Oh, it's dirty. And this is where I keep my beads like this. And they don't fall off. And it's got, um, is that foam? Yeah, foam. Yeah. And so I can just close it and take it anywhere I want to take it. And of course, it's in my wonderful project bag, the Ziploc bag. Because, you know, oops, after a while, you run out of stuff and everything you need the beads, the needles, the floss, everything. And this is what floss I have left. So Mill Hill gives you plenty of floss. Um, everything you need's in the kit. And it was like, I don't know, about $15, something like that. So that'll be my next one, and that's got to be a finish this month. And then I didn't bring my monthly earnings sale down because um, it was my 12 days of Christmas whimsy, 10, 11, and 12, or number 10. So, but next month, I'm going to stitch. Well, yeah. We'll talk about that in a minute when I find it. Okay, Deborah, go for it. Go for what? Okay, so do you have any whips? Or have you showed all your whips? I showed my whips. Yeah. I do have some more, but no. <laughs> okay, see, I'm lost here. Okay, now we're ready to move on, see? Uh, we're ready to move on to the... Yes, okay. Let's go to the Bats and Boos Stitch Along. It's going to be on... Uh, it's going to start on August 1st. You can go on Fat Quarter Shop's website, and you can download this free uh, supply list. And then after that, you can go on their website on August 1st and download the first part of the pattern that you could probably see. And uh, they have this, it's like a six and three quarter and six and three quarter, and it just uses 
four colors of DMC floss. So bats and boos with fat quarter shot. Yeah, quick stitch. It really will. Then the next stitch along, I said I was going to um, find my Biscornu from Lizzie Kate because the two ladies from Two Tall Stitchers um, had said they didn't recognize a um, Lizzie Kate. Um, they didn't know she had a Biscornu. So um, this one is called Hoot. Oh, sorry about the glare. And I just thought that was just precious. And it's got the little owl that says hoot and then the little biscornu. And they're real easy to put together. And I do not know if they have this one on one, two, three stitch, but it comes with the fabric, which is, I would say this is a 32 count. I really would, but let's look and see. Um, no, it's 30 count natural linen. And it uses weak style works, but I pretty much use mostly DMC flosses that I've kitted it up with. And it's got some uh, yellow buttons and um, for the hoot fob, they did not include the fabric um, that I can tell. And they have green buttons, unless you've got some leftover from the Biscornu. So, um... This is going to be really cute, and it's going to be two strands over two, and I'm going to start this another sale on August 1st. <laughs> I'm just sound lady. crazy. Yes. All right, and then if you don't like doing that sale, um, let me do this so that way they can't see it. You can, I mean, uh, Biscor New, you can go to Barbara Anna Designs, and this is part of our free pattern today. And if you don't like the witch pattern, they have other patterns. This is the little witch pattern here for the Biscornu, and it's free on the Barbara Anna Designs website, and you just click freebies, and it's um, from 2007, but it's 58 by 58, because it's 50 stitches, well, it's 58 by 58, and um, it uses DMC flosses and two DMC color variations. So that one's good, but they also have, okay, let me look, okay. Okay, here's the little witch Biscornu finished on their website. Okay, all right, but they also have Christmas Joy Biscornu. Ooh, goodness. And this is the Christmas Joy Biscornu with the little elves and the stockings. And they have um looks like little Japanese ladies right there, Oriental ladies. And that was cute with their kimonos and the beautiful flowers. Looks like cherry blossoms. They have that one. That one's also free. And they just have lots of free patterns. But they do have three different Biscor News on their website. Barbara Anna Design Freebies, and I will link that below. I just um, entered that in the search button, but I'll put the website there. Then, um, that's all the new sales that I know about. The next thing we'll have is, um, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, new patterns. Okay, you know, Needlepoint Expo is coming out um, August 28th through August the 30th. and Or Needlework Expo. Why did I say Needlepoint? Oh, goodness. You can tell I'm slow. And Puntini Puntini has got this one out, Sweet Holidays. That's cute. Is that not adorable? I love that little gingerbread man. That's a got to have. Mm. I can hear the cash register already. <laughs> I'm going to hibernate for a week or two. <laughs> and then, uh, just so you'll know, Lady Dot Creates, she is putting out a bunch, and it looks like floss thread holders or maybe uh, scissor fobs. Not really sure. Floss rings. <laughs> And then, uh, what is this? Salty Stitcher Designs is putting this under the C design. So that's for you folks that love the beach. Isn't that cute with the little fishies? 
Oh, yeah. And then Monticello Stitches is putting this out, You're My Home. They have three designs coming out, and I showed you one of them last week. Something about bringing joy. But the, it looks like Clifford the, has a, friend, a cat friend, big as the house, and then that dog that looks like a greyhound. And then Manny Dodonna designer is bringing out the sewing purse, and she's going to release this pattern. Sorry about the glare during the uh, Needlepoint Expo. It's so pretty. And then Fiber on a Whim is releasing these four colors that remind her of fall. The names of the colors are, yeah, I could have sworn I saw it. Okay, Brown Sugar, Pistachio, Heather, and Brick. They are pretty. Mm -hmm. They are pretty. So that's fiber on a whim. And then, I can't remember if I showed this one last week. Um, I don't think I did. But this is from Puntini Puntini. Now, I have seen this on somebody else's website, but it's the three little patterns, uh, Trick or Treat and Born to Spook, and then the little one with the jack-o'-lantern. So they've got a lot of good patterns coming out. I know I showed that one last week. Showed that one last week. And Nikki's. No. Oh, goodness. Uh, this one is a European pattern, and I'm not sure who it's by, but I think it's very pretty. It's a little sneak peek. So be looking for that one, because that looks really cute. Um. <clears throat> Then, here's a sneak peek on one from Twin Peak Primitives. It's got, it looks like Abraham Lincoln. Is that Honest Abe? Honest Abe. That yes. is Honest Abe. I've yes. seen that. Uh, the farm girl um, uh -huh. on her floss tube, she just stitched that. Because I think she did it as a sample or something. It is beautiful. She said the pattern's getting ready to come out. And then Rami's Creations. Here's a sneak peek on hers with a little cup of cocoa. That looks like it's going to be a have to have. Just too, too cute. It looks so Christmassy. And little head of a gingerbread man. And notice now this needlework show is a virtual trade show just for the shop owners. And you can pre-order probably from them, and it'll probably go like last time. And then this one is, um, oh, goodness. Um, Thistle's Designs, and this is Hugs and Kisses, and it's got two little pigs. Is that not too cute? I love the little board it's on. So that will give you some uh, new things that you can um, look at. And then Ink Circles um, has got the cow jumping over the moon right there. So that's an odd picture, but anyway, I just wanted to show that. So um, anyway, those are some of the one, the new designs that are coming out. All right, now it's time for our giveaways. And the first one, uh, well, both of these have been given to me by a uh, watcher. And is that what you call them? Well, a floss tube viewer. Yeah, floss tube viewer. I shouldn't call you a watcher. But anyway, <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. And this is from Lindy Stitches. And this is called Beach Dance, and it's got the little boobies on it. You know, the little birds that they call boobies. And so, if you're interested in this, say the word beach, okay? Be a subscriber. Like the video, please. And please be over 18. Do not mention the word free, giveaway, you know, anything like that. And just say the word beach. If you want to put a cute little sentence in there, that's good too. And I'll think of a question in just a minute. Then the next one is not that. Where did it go? Here it is. Okay. 
this was also gifted to me by a uh, fellow floss tuber, and this is from Barbara Anna Designs. And since fall is coming up, this is Quoth the Raven, bleh, Quoth the Raven Nevermore. <clears throat> and this could be a scissor fob, uh, if you do it on small count fabric, uh, if you do it on large count fabric, it could be a picture, you know, the, a pillow. The, I mean, the possibilities are endless. And it looks like a very easy stitch, and it has um, DMC flosses. That's what it uses. And the pattern is, is in color, and they also have it in black and white. <clears throat> so if you're interested in this one, say Raven. So that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Raven and Beach. Now, the question I would like for you to answer <coughs> is, hmm, um, how long have you been cross-stitching? Okay, so just answer how long you've been cross-stitching. It could be five minutes or 30 years, you know, it doesn't matter. And be sure and use the word Beach and Raven and be sure and be over 18, like and subscribe the video. Also share the video. And uh, we're almost close to 500 subscribers. And when we get 500 subscribers, we're gonna have some really, really good giveaways. I've been hoarding up things uh, just, you know, to kind of, you know, entice it. And we lack just mm, a few. Now, the last thing I want to share is I also have another free pattern. But now for this one, you have to subscribe to this designer's newsletter to get the free pattern. And she will email you her free patterns every time she puts one out. And this one's called Summer Celebration Small. And this is by Hello from Liz. Is it, is it doing? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. There you go. And this is Hello from Liz Matthews, and it's 41 by 47, and it uses DMC floss. Isn't that just adorable? You can make it into a small, you can make it into a hanging ornament, but just go to the Hello from Liz Matthews website and subscribe to her newsletter, and you'll get this free pattern. All right, um, now we have haul. Okay, so Deborah, what do you have? I have haul. I got a big haul last week. I didn't bring it all uh, because it's quilting stuff. I got the Vintage Christmas Quilt Pal Kit from Happy Little Stitch Shop. And I want to let y'all know about Happy Little Stitch Shop because they have a live floss tube every Thursday at 1.30 Central Savings Time. Central Standard Time. Central Standard Time. And here's some of the cross-stitch patterns that I got from them last week. One is Snowballs for Sale. Let me tilt it. Okay. And this is from Lori Holt. Lori Holt of Be and My Bonnet Company. Is that just not too cute? That's a gotta have. And the other part of my haul was part of my whip because I couldn't wait to start. And that's Kringles mm -hmm. by Little House Needleworks. And look at this. She's already got the fabric and the floss in there all kitted up for the snowballs for sale. She is ready to go. And this one I got uh, about a month or so ago, but it's all kitted up and ready to start. So I'm wanting to start that this week. It's Pumpkins for Sale by Lori Holt. That is just so cute. I want to stitch that one too. I just want to stitch everything. It's just so cute. All right. Are you going to do this on Ada? Ada. 14 count? Yes. All right. Anything else? That's it. Hmm. That's a good haul. Now, my haul is very small, but I love it. Stitch and Granny, which is Deborah, she gave me my two little Scotty dogs. So, I can't wait to figure out what to put on these two little Scotty dogs. And you know me, I'm stitching Scotty, so I got to have my Scotty dogs. Paint one white, paint one black. I could, yes, and I didn't think about that. And I'll have to stick them up on the wall behind me. You can earrings. turn one of them the other way. <laughs> I'll do that, Gary. <laughs> earrings, earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see. I believe that's it. Did we talk about plans? Um, Not so much. Okay, no. you want to talk about plans? We can. Okay, so what are you going to stitch on next time? I'm wanting to continue with the Lori Holt. I've got to pull, pour it back, pull it back out, the Prim series. 
I've got to do that. I'm going to be working on Kringles. That is my weekend stitch. I want to start pumpkins for sale and snowballs for sale. That's these two right here. Two new starts. Yay! Okay. Anything else? That's pretty much it. Okay. Oh, I've got to continue working on my 12 days of Christmas, of course. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. What else you got? That's it. Okay. Well, I did not... Ooh, that's stuck. I did not get any more done on my Merry Musings from uh, Waxing Moon. And a lot of you really, really liked this one. And one of the ladies gave me a great idea. I'm going to copy her because, you know, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. It says, drink the eggnog. She's going to put drink the cocoa. And since I'm not an eggnog fan, I think I might just do that also. So I hope you don't mind. But I'm going to work some more on that one. I'm going to work some more on my little women and probably my Wizard of Oz. And now, because Stitch and Granny Deborah has got crinkles started, I'm gonna have to work some more on that. And of course, I'm gonna have to work on my, I didn't talk about my monthly orny sale. Yeah. Um, well, and I just keep bending over, you know, it's just a thing. You said it dropped and you couldn't get it, that's why you yeah. put it aside. And I don't know where it went. Um, well, I'll just have to tell you about it. It's Fox Hill Designs, I think, or Fox Run Designs. I'm going to do one of the sleds on perforated paper. So, um, I'm going to do that. And then, <sighs> goodness, um, I'm going to still work on my July for, um, that Deborah's already got finished that I don't have done. And... Oh, yes. And, no, I'm not going to work on that. Um, and I hope I have time to do more on my Santa Claus is coming to town. Goodness, I got a strand of fabric here. From Stitching with the Housewives. That's this one. Santa Claus is coming to town because I'm getting pretty close. I don't like much, but the little houses, the bottom border, and uh, the words coming to town. And that will pretty much be done. So, I'm excited about that. So, we are so glad that you that you joined us. And we hope you will continue to uh, view our videos and come back every week. And just like and subscribe if you haven't already, so we can hit those 500 subscribers and have a big giveaway. Tell all your friends to be sure and watch our videos so um, you can uh, see all the pretty things that we have. And um, just thank you so much. And don't forget, how long have you been cross-stitching? And beach for the uh, little uh, beach stitch with the little birds. And um, raven for Quoth the Raven Nevermore. And we'll see you next week. Happy stitching. Bye.